Please be seated. And today, uh, children, as we continue on with the children's message, those that are at home, uh, God's blessings to you this day. And it's so uh, good to see you, per se. I, I mean, I, I don't see you. But I'm looking into the lens, and I see you, in a sense. Uh, but uh, I pray that all is well with you, children, and that God is continuing to guide you in his peaceful word that stands forever. Now, today, we talk about the baptism of Jesus, right, kids? Like, what is the point of the baptism of Jesus? I mean, we know that Jesus was, uh, Jesus is perfect, that he is sinless, and that I guess the question is, why, why was Jesus baptized? And the question, kids, I have for you is this. Right there. I don't know if you can read that, but it says, Who is doing the work? You know, when Jesus was baptized in the water, he's showing you who is doing the work. Right? And even in your baptism, you must ask the question, Who is doing the work. Now, Jesus comes to the world, kids, to do what? To do the work. And there in his baptism, he was showing all the world that he is showing the world that, yes, I have come to do the work that no one else could do but only me. And Jesus came to this world to die and rise for each and every one of you. That's who does the work for your salvation. Now, even in your baptism, you must ask, who is doing the work? The same answer is God. God is doing the work. He called you in your baptism. He calls you by name in your baptism. He, he covers you by his grace in your baptism. And there you know by what he has done for you, you are a child of God. The next time you receive a blessing at the communion rail, you always hear those words from me about your baptism. And it always reminds you who is doing the work. And that is God alone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Dearly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your grace, that you worked upon us salvation, that you have given to these children your gospel, and that you have given to these children their baptism. Bless them and comfort them and lead them, O Lord, knowing that your word stands forever and your promise is also forever for them. Bless them and keep them this day by your spirit. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.